and I are about to take you on a magical adventure! Okay, right, stop. It's ta-da, people. Remember, I told you we're there. Let's try it again. Ready? Evelyn and I are about to take all of you on a magical adventure! A magical adventure back in time. Back when my grandfather became famous doing sleight of hand magic. Now, sleight of hand is considered to be the most pure form of entertaining in magic. It's by far the most difficult type of magic to do. Takes years and years of practice, and boy, I remember back when Grandpa would do his show. Back then, people would actually clap for things, but apparently, <laughs> you all think you're watching YouTube. So we will do a live demonstration using nothing but a deck of cards and a permanent marker. Well, it used to say permanent, but that rubbed off. All you need to do, is select one number card out of the deck. You will notice it is not in any specific order. This is just a randomly shuffled deck. What you'll do is pick one card out of it. I did, didn't I? Yep, right there. Here we go. Sorry about that. Jack and Diamond that go between the two twos. All right. They're not in any special order, Evelyn. Pick one number, any number that you want. Your favorite number will be nice. Go ahead and pull that out of there. I will then give you the marker, and I want you to write your first name and your first name only as big as you can across the entire side of the card. Try to fill it all up there. You see, I have done comedy for the 82% of you that get two-thirds of my jokes about half the time. And now, your sleight of hand magic. No joking around, I'm going to do this seriously. That's why I'm wearing this tuxedo. It's the same tuxedo that my grandfather was buried in. So here we go. Please place the card face down on my hand. I will then lose your card. <laughs> okay, you can sign your name on the back of it, Evelyn. Uh, <laughs> you just made this a lot easier on me. Let me see if I can find it. It's like I have a fifth sense sight. Oh wait, is that your card, Evelyn? Yeah, let's try it again, okay? So much for no child left behind. Yeah, on the other side, Evelyn. Other side, I won't even look away. I have a joke for everything. My grandma said you're like one of those idiot savants, but she had an accent, so the savant was silent. But I will take the marker away from you. It's a Sharpie, I don't want any injuries up here with you. Place the card on my hand, I'll be right back. Sir, butter guy, in a loud voice, is there a signature on the card? Thank you. I would also like to point out that this is not a marked card, okay? I wouldn't do that. There is nothing written on the back of it to tell me what card Evelyn selected. An unmarked card. Let me see. I believe it is the Five of Spades. Am I right? Oh, look at that. The Five of Spades. Everybody say that with me. Five of Spades. Oh, how did I know that? Grandma used to say it was like I was telepathetic, but with her accent, the tele was silent. Uh, but you'll verify. You only signed one five of spades, is that fair? Yep, good. Now is the time to go ahead and get out your cameras, everyone, you can film this. Apparently it's also the best time to stand up and walk right across the front of our stage to get to the restroom. <laughs> Instead of using the door that's on that side. Just saying if that guy can hold it, we can all hold it. Right, right, oh, okay, he said depends. All right, let's just keep going. Evelyn, notice nothing in my hand. Let's do the trick. Here we go. I push the card all the way in. It's lost. When I shake my hand, your card flies across, appears here in my right front pocket. Look at that. Five of spades, ladies and gentlemen. Did you do that trick? No, then why aren't you clapping? No, it's too late. We're going to do it again. We're going to keep going until this guy gets into the show. Don't look at me like that, sir. We're on the boat. Where are you going to go? Good news is we have plenty of butter for you. Here we go. Notice, nothing in my hand, nothing in the pocket, right? Your card's right there. It's on the top of the deck. I shuffled it up there. When I shake my hand, that gives me the chance to steal the top one and bring it across. You see? I'm palming that. They can't see it, but you can from that side. I bring it over, put it into the pocket, pull it right back. And we'll do a full speed. You watch for the move. Here we go. It happens quickly. Here we go. I place it in. I work it back up. I steal the top one. I bring that across. Now, at this point, I make that card invisible in case you're peeking. It flies up, comes down, 
comes down, bounces off your shoulder, appears here in my right front pocket. There it is, five of spades, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have you hold on to the card to keep it away from me. It's easy enough, and I apologize that I keep getting so close to you. According to my neighbor's diary, I have boundary issues. Now, Evelyn, the card goes there. The other hand goes on top. Smile at your friends. Very good. Bring it back around. I'm going to try to switch your card with the ace of spades. All right? Keep your eye on the ace. Don't blink. That's what the doctor says. The ace comes over. When I start shaking the ace, it starts changing from an A, doesn't it? It changes into a number. A signature starts to appear. Do you see it? It's moving around, isn't it? It's moving on there. It finally stops. And I now have your signed card out of your closed hand. Go ahead. Show them what you have now. You have my card. The ace of spades. See, I'm going to give you the entire deck of cards. I want you to shuffle them. This is the ultimate test of card manipulation. I now need to steal one signed marked card out of a shuffled deck of 52. One specific card out of 52. The odds are so great I can't even calculate what they are beginning at right. So here we go. It's one out of 52, people. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Hooray for public schools. But here we go, Evelyn. You shuffled it in? Yes, good. Watch. I just need a hint. Notice I never change the order of the deck. I hold up my sleeves. I'm hiding nothing. A yes or no? Is your card near the top? No. Is it in the middle, Evelyn? No. So it must be one of these bottom few here. That will make it easier. Is it at the bottom? No. Let's look together, Evelyn. You can see the cards, right? If you can't see them, you don't need those glasses. You need a dog. The five, the five of spades has vanished. It is gone. All right, shut up. We can work with this. We can. What you do with this? Is it in the fanny pack? No. Okay. It flies out around the room and comes down and it lands underneath Butter Boy. Full circle. Right there on his chair. What does he rise is to reveal on his chair underneath him? Nothing. But that would have been incredible. in the entire house standing up. Watch closely. Sir, do you carry your ID in a wallet? Do you carry a money clip, a fanny pack? I'm not gonna judge you. Where do you carry your ID, sir? Wallet, will you please place it on the table there for us? And uh, sir, go ahead, put it on the table there. You don't have your wallet with you. <laughs> and you drive the bus. <laughs> do you have it with you? This guy does. Go ahead and put it on the table there, sir. What is your name? Frank. Very good. And at no point did anyone tell you that you would be part of the show, did they? No, you're not. I'm just taking all of your money from you. <laughs> not your fault. I used to work for the timeshare, so I'm good at it. Pay attention. <laughs> Nothing in my hand. This is your wallet, sir. We have your ID in here. We have some discount cards. You like the donuts from someplace called Tim's. And... I don't know what that is, but here we go. Oh, look at this. Do you guys see that peeking out? There is a red playing card right there in the wallet. Keep your eyes on this card, boys and girls. Now, what we're going to do is put a bright spotlight right here on my hand. We can do that here at the showboat. When I work on cruise ships, we can't do that. We get a bit of an older audience, and the moment I turn on a bright light, they all stand up and walk towards it. So, keep your eyes. <laughs> But somehow you managed to shuffle your sign, Five of Spades, into his wallet. And that is magic.